Good morning. Good morning. Oh, happy skein number 10. Yes, skein number 10. This is our 10th episode. High five. High five. Way to go. <laughs> well, I'm really glad we waited a couple weeks between you know, like, podcast and today because I have gotten a lot done. I'm very proud of myself. Did you? And we've been holding some, we've been doing some um, sister torture with your sock and I get to reveal the colorway of the sock that I made. And we have a lot of announcements today. We have a lot of winners and a lot of giveaway and all kinds of good stuff today. So today is, so we yes. have to say who we are and the date, right? I was just going to say disclaimer to mom, and don't be mad because it may be a few, few what, 15, 20 minutes before we show any fire. So just get your knitting and get your coffee and hang in there, mother. Love you. Okay, who are we? Okay, the signal's terrible right now. I don't know why, but that whole thing that you just kind of was pretty skippy. I was just saying a disclaimer for mother that she's going to have to I know what you said, and people understood it, but it was just got a, 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 a bit. A, a. <laughs> I'm so, ugh. Okay. Maybe we won't have, like, any. That's okay. Maybe we won't have a stuttering podcast, but hopefully not, because we've been doing pretty good. So let's tell people who we are. Okay. We are the Periscoping Sisters. And we are um, Debbie, I'm Debbie, and I'm Debbie S. Reese on Instagram and Debbie Reese on Ravelry. And you and are? And I'm Amy. <laughs> I live in Georgia, and I'm Inked Indigo on Instagram and Indigo Amy on Ravelry. And today is Sunday, May, uh, no, Sunday, June 12th, 2016. And just as a quick, uh, sending lots of prayers, there's been a tragedy in the uh, country. Debbie, I don't know if you had the news on, but there was, uh, they originally said 20 people. Now they're saying 50 people dead in a nightclub in Orlando. Oh so my a gosh. shooter came in and um, killed many people, killed themselves. So they're trying to put it all together. But um, prayers and thoughts go out to Orlando and all those families. So. I haven't even had the TV on this morning yet. It's still kind of early here. I had no idea. That's terrible. That's just terrible. So, yes. Good vibes. I, that way. I don't know. They're not doing too good today. They're starting to grow out a little bit, but that's all right. You said you were going to get a haircut last time. I did. Mm -hmm. I did get it cut, and it's starting to fill in a little bit. It was a little bit crazy at first, but I don't know. My bangs aren't. They're not, they're not, looks good. what are you drinking? What am I drinking? I'm not drinking anything right now, actually. I had my shake this morning, so I don't have any drinks this morning. You drinking a tea? I am drinking, I wanted to say a shout out to my, one of my BFFs, to Sue. I got a care package, and everything that comes from her comes in this, like, shoebox, and it was really heavy. And it kind of smelled good. And I said, oh, my gosh, I can't believe it got here without anybody opening it up. It was filled with teas and chocolate. And the chocolate didn't all get melted? No, it didn't. It was very surprising because some things I get from Canada and it's all melted, but it wasn't, it wasn't melted. And it was funny because I guess it's Arabic or something. All the packages, it, you don't know what it is. So we opened up one of the packages and they're a little chocolate covered. They, they taste like chocolate covered pretzels, but they're a little skinny, long. And I said to Ronnie, my husband, I said, I wonder if these are chocolate covered dehydrated worms from the Instagram. <laughs> he said, are you serious? I said, well, I don't know. Try it. And he says, no, you try it. So we both tried. It was fine. I think it was pretzels. But thank you, Sue. You're so sweet. And I'm drinking some of my passion tea, fruit tea. She sent me four boxes and pomegranate and almond. Wow. I tried the almond. It was so good. You need to be a tea drinker, Debbie, and get on the bandwagon with the rest of us. Tea is good. Nah, I'll pass. All right, we're passing right along. What's okay. next? Okay, so we have a Ravelry group. It's called Periscoping Sisters, and we've had some uh, administrative things that we took care of this last week. Someone is knocking on my door. I don't know who it is, and they need to... 
day when I was periscoping a couple, a couple months ago, the doorbell rang. It was the afternoon. I was home by myself. Everybody was like, don't answer it. It could be a murder. I said, no, it's probably somebody wanting to sell me something. So I took the phone with me. I was sneaking through the house, looked through the window. It was some insurance guy. He should was I, in the wrong house. Should I call him? a message for some other dude, and I called him back. They're watch? banging. I need to pause. Hang on a second. Hang on. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. That was my neighbor's son returning a birth certificate from baseball stuff. So. Did they not know how important things happen. The important things happen on Sunday. They, you should have a do not disturb unless the world is coming to an end sign on your front door. Come I should put a recording, now. recording in process on the front door or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the red light, the red light, recording, mm -hmm. interview, um, what do they call that? Interrogation in progress, do not disturb. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we're going to talk about some knitting, we're going to talk about some yarny goodness, we're going to talk about admin stuff, so... What do you want to do first? Away, Debbie, do you, you have the show notes. Do you want to do... You wanna do um, our big announcement first, or do you want to leave that to the end? Or do you, well, we'll leave that to the, maybe to the end of the, of the, of the news. Okay. Okay. So okay. the first thing we have is Mina um, was kind enough to give each of us a copy of her sock pattern, her latest collection. It's called Beyond Vanilla Sock, part one. And she gave another additional copy to the podcast to give away. And we had a thread for the last two weeks. We had quite a few people um, give us information about what their favorite sock pattern was. And we have a winner. You want to know who the winner, the winner? was? Yes. The winner, 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 chicken dinner. the winner was post number 37. And her Ravelry name is Jeno Fantastic. Yay! Yay! Congratulations! So, yes, I'm sure her name is Jen. And so I will let Mina know that uh, she can forward that pattern to Jen. So congratulations, Jen. Four patterns. Four patterns, that's right. Four yeah. sock patterns. Awesome. The next thing um, I just wanted to mention... I finally got around to watching Eric's podcast last night. It was about, I think it was almost about a week old. And he had Gavcorn. Did you see? Yeah. He got her in the mail finally. I, it took a little while. You haven't seen it? Yeah. Oh, you did? I, I saw the post that he put on Instagram. Yeah, because Ronnie's been home for the last few days. So even though I got a lot of knitting done last week, uh, that's when I catch up on podcasts. He just left out this morning to go to Michigan, so he'll be gone for a few days. So I've got to catch up on all my podcasts. So okay. And he had I heard his movie night went really really fun. And I got to tell a little story. Paradise Island. My friend Patricia, who is um, she's testing it my because I love you, Cal. She had said something about going movie night. I said, well, tell Eric. I said, hey. And I said, and if you forget or you don't don't. Don't tell me. Just lie to me and say you did, but even if you didn't. Well, my gosh, guess what? I got up the next morning. I guess they did it, what, Friday night or Saturday night? Yeah. I got up the next morning, and I always, you know, kind of opened my phone, and I saw I had a I had a private message from her. It was a video of Eric going, hi, Amy. Oh, how cool. Hi. And I said, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Eric was so cute. And my husband's like, who is that? Like, he just heard it. He wasn't watching it. <laughs> He's like, what is that? <laughs> I said, that's my very favorite Canadian person who is knitter. And he's um, saying me a personal hello. Thank you very much. You don't know how popular I am, Ronnie, but now you do. He said, oh, my gosh, you are too popular. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. Thank you, Eric. Put the yes. shout out. Thank you, uh, Tricia. I hopped on uh, one of his periscopes. I think it was the one right before or maybe the one right after they did their um, – movie night and it was very successful it was really a cool thing for him to do for stephanie That's and it her. was all for donation yeah really really neat neat really idea and, and fun event so so um gabacorn is back i think in the world she's on her way to the next person i don't know who she's going to but she's on her way um we also were given and you've opened 
you've opened a thread in our Ravelry group, uh, another pattern from Julia from the Happy Knitting Podcast, her Squishalicious yeah. shawl. So thank you, Julia. So go so into the sweeper. Ravelry group if you want a chance to win that pattern. It's a beautiful textured triangular shaped shawl with a really pretty lace um, edging. Both Sue and Chelsea have been knitting that shawl. I think they were test knitting for, for Julia. So go over to the group. What's the, um, what do we put in the thread? Did I put the thread up? I forgot what I even asked. Oh, what's the squishiest or co com coziest thing you've ever knit or crocheted? So just answer that question. You'll be, you'll be entered to win that pattern. Yes. So the final thing, which seems like it's been forever because my pattern came out on March 4th on my birthday when you were here. And Which pattern? My Wendy Sky Shawl pattern. And we did a three-month yeah. knit along for my for my shawl. And the thread closed on May 31st, and we picked the winners. I have a finished object thread winner, and I have a chatter thread winner. So the person who won the Bags by Awesome Granny bag, this huge, gorgeous... I love... I love my bag. My case of raw sweater is in it, and I have plenty of room. That is the most spectacular bag. Check it out. It's so awesome. Kind of like a psychedelic 70s bag reminds me of yeah. that fabric. Wow. So cool. There's her little tag. And the winner in the finished objects thread is post number eight. Rosalie. Her name is Rosalie Six on Ravelry. So she wins that bag. And then for the chatter thread, I purchased a Gail's Art sock blank, one of her extreme sock blanks. I can't believe you're actually giving that away, Debbie. You're better than me. I think I would have not showed it and secretly knit it for myself. Well, it's kind Maybe of not. it's kind of killing me. But oh, it's so it, beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at all those. Oh, it's going to speckle. It. So cool. I love these hot, hot pink dots. That's, that, that is so fun. Is it a double stranded or single? It's a single. Single stranded. So without further ado, the winner of this sock blank is post number 102. Viv Crest on Ravelry. Viv, you're a winner. You won the sock blank. Yay. And I was so happy to go into her projects page and see that she actually is a sock knitter. I was so relieved. Yeah. So I will be sending those out this week. Um, I think I'll hold, we'll hold off and putting it in the notes um, of our thread that they were the winners. Give it a little bit of time for them to watch and let them be surprised. And then I'll add it in a couple days. Thank you guys so much. I still see people saying I'm about to start the Wendy Sky Shawl, and it's just so exciting to see it out in the world. And actually, it's funny. I saw um, Davixta Vicky went to a Fiber Fest uh, the other day, and she was wearing hers. And she did hers in a bright green and bright pink striped, and it just looks so cool. So that was very neat. And I have to look for that post because I remember, I think there's very, those are very cool uh, yarn she used, yes. like the tree frog and the candy shop or something. Yeah. I think maybe the candy shop, was that one that she won? Well, we sent her one from us. Okay, so anyway, I, I want to see that post. I haven't looked at it. Is it really cool to get? Yeah. And just as a side note about sock blanks, just because sock blanks are called sock blanks doesn't mean you have to knit socks with them. You can knit a shawl, you can knit a hat. The yarn is a little wiggly just because it's in the knitted form, but when you block it out, it, it flattens out beautifully. So yes. don't be afraid. If you see a beautiful gradient or beautiful sock like if you're not a sock knitter, buy it anyway because it's got enough yardage for, it's like a skein of yarn, right? For yes. some odd yards. Some yes. Of them, some of them. So, I mean, if you're not going to knit socks or you knit one sock at a time, just make sure you get, you know, the single stranded which will be longer than the double stranded. But even if you get the double stranded, you can pull them both off, wind two balls, and you're good. So anyway, that's that. Yes. So that's most yeah. of our show news. Um, I closed the thread for the June birthday swap and yeah. matched everybody up, and I opened the thread okay. for the July um, 
this month we did have another odd number of people so the next person on the list would prefer someone in Europe but I didn't have a lone Europe person so I went to the next person and that was Jules from Diary of a Yarn Snob. So Jules is going to be our oh. angel this month. Birthday angel? Yes. So I've already okay, tagged everybody and ear burned everybody in the thread. So um, get going on contacting your partner and see what you guys okay. want to swap. So that'll be fun. So I love this short. Mom had said something about bringing something to you. Did she do that? Yes. Okay. You want to do our life is short segment? Sure. I kind of had that in the Nana's Nook segment. Oh, excuse me. Do we need to do Nana's Nook right now? Sure, let's do Flash, Nana's Nook, like right? Short. Yes, let's do Nana's Nook. Okay, so I don't know if you remember, but I will tell everybody because not everybody knows this, but our grandfather, my dad's dad, worked for many, many years in a knitting mill. And for a long time, he had a large knitting machine in his basement and he would use the knitting machine. He was basically, I think he, he ran some of the knitting machines and I think he repaired them too. I'm not sure exactly, but he was a Jack of all trades kind of guy. And, um, he, I remember, I remember granny, I remember, I remember granny was upset because he would take apart the toaster and, and put it back together or take apart the, radio and well i'm assuming he was successful but of course he wanted to know how it was put together and how right. it was put back together but she would always say he's got that toaster apart again or something and i'm <laughs> like why is he taking apart to it but these are people that live through the depression so yeah. even if the toaster broke it it would be repaired because they did not throw anything out so anyway, anyway continue on so um, he was a tinkerer, right? And so he would do that. He would take things apart and put things back together. But anyway, what he made was a baby sweater for Wendy, our oldest sister. And I have not seen this. I don't think I've ever seen this garment. And I, I didn't even know the story until Mom told me. I hadn't seen it either. And Amy, I can't believe, I can believe that Mom has saved it all these years. But I cannot believe the yeah. shape that this little garment is still in. It is, I think, I'm afraid to touch it. I'm afraid I'm going to snag it or pull it on something. But the threads that were used to knit this garment are probably, they're like a thread you would sew on your sewing machine. Smaller, smaller than that. Whoa. Look at this. Whoa. Oh my goodness. You know what, Debbie? I think I have seen that. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's getting washed out. Look at the little Hold it still. Hold it still. There's a little rose. There's little there. flowers that are embroidered on it and this cute little I don't know what it is. It's like a Oh yeah, hold it still. Oh my gosh, look at that little band. And the band, is the band is on both sides. And it's not even yellowed or anything, Debbie. It's not. It's, I mean, it's a cream color. But, I mean, the fabric is so fine and so soft. And right. look at the, I mean, look at the little ribbing on the Sweet. sleeve. Wow. Do we have a picture of Wendy wearing that? I don't know. I ought to ask mom. But isn't that the yeah. cutest little thing ever? That darling. Oh, how sweet. There's not a stain on it. I think mom said Wendy wore it once or twice. And then she took it off and put it away. Oh. Probably for five minutes with a bib because mother probably was afraid that they would get a stain. I'm surprised Wendy even put anything on because she was one that never liked to wear clothes. She'd run around in the neighborhood without a shirt on. Oh, it's so precious. That is an heirloom. That that has got to go to Avi or Sandy's first baby girl, and hopefully that will stay in the family a long time. Yeah. Somebody Not who's going to take good care of it, that's for sure, and appreciate it. 
So that's from Nana's Nook. Thank you, Mom, for sharing that. It's awesome. Love it. I'm going to wrap it back up and protect it and put it in a safe place. So what have you been doing the last couple of weeks, Deb? Well, Luke broke his thumb. Yes, okay, so you went back to the doctor? We went back to the doctor, and he was all ready because the first doctor in the emergency room who did the original x-ray said, oh, it's not too bad. It's just a little pressed in on the side, and here, wear this little brace for a week and come back in a week. Well, he was not too happy with the orthopedic because she said that the crack was in his growth plate and he needed to wear a splint, another brace for another whole week. He's like, yeah, I'm not like wearing this, I'm not wearing this. I said, you're wearing you it. Were yeah. Yes. So he, he is uh, no, no baseball all this week. He can play this coming weekend. But I told him, I said, it's a good break for you. You don't, you're not going to the batting cages every day. You're not throwing balls. You're not pitching. You're not... Just take a break and let your body rest. So that's what he's right. up to this week. Right. James took the ACT test yesterday for the second time. So he's doing all kinds of college stuff. And James Sr. has been away. He went back to Texas over to uh, Fort Worth area to visit some family for a week or so. And he'll be back Tuesday night. So that's he what's his He didn't take his kayak. He didn't take his kayak. Are they getting a lot of Just, rain there still? No, not up where no, he is, I don't think. I don't know where he is, but boy, the stuff that I'm seeing on the news about Texas and the flooding. Yeah. You see a house and then there's like, yeah. it's like a house in the middle of a lake. It's like sitting up and then there's like, it's crazy. Yeah, you know, Diane from Suburban Stitcher, she she is right in the middle of all of that. Yeah, I remember. Well, soon after we recorded last two Sundays ago, I got a sinus infection. I dealt with that for four days, and finally Ronnie said, you're going to take Sky over to the, the school, the daycare for the summer, and you're going to march right around the corner, and you're going to go to the urgent care. And I'm thinking, you know, Debbie, you know, Mom and Dad, they, they never went to the doctor. They never took us to the doctor because Mom was a nurse. She could, you know, either rub with salt water or you rub it. And that fixed every ailment you had, unless you <laughs> severed an arm and you need to go to the hospital. But, you know, I, the, fir the first thing that comes to my mind is not going to the doctor. But, yeah. you know, after three, four days of feeling like crud, he's just like, you go to the doctor. So I literally, on my last day of antibiotics, it took a while for me to get, well, first of all, it took me till Friday a week ago, Friday, to go to the doctor. Then it took, you know, probably four or five days to the for the antibiotics really to start working. So amongst all that time, I was, should we talk about the big surprise, the sock? This is a good segue. Yes. Okay, so I was knitting. I begged Debbie, well, you know, initially she's just like, I'm not going to ask you to test knit my sock. Don't touch those leaves. It's the sock pattern that she just made up because she says, I know you're not a sock knitter, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, yeah, okay. She says, I'll make you, you know, a fingerless glove pattern to go with it. So anyway, so then we were talking and about the sock pattern last podcast, and I was just like, well, I can do that. I can knit a sock. I can do that. Send me the pattern. So Debbie did. Well, amongst this whole week that I was feeling so terrible, I'm trying to knit the sock. That Debbie was a was recipe like, for no. disaster. Well, she was just like, have you, it's easy to memorize, right? And I'm like, no. <laughs> like, I'm having to look at every row. And Debbie's just like, seriously? And then I watched Sue's Periscope, and she's like, oh, it's so intuitive. And I'm like, am I just a total doorknob? I must be, because it's, I'm not feeling it. I'm not getting it. So finally, after the fog lifted, and, you know, I could think clearly, and don't knit something that you may say is maybe potentially challenging or new for you when you're sick. Just don't do it. It's not good. And I had to, just like Jenny from Lone Large says, I had um, whip custody. And I love this idea. Whip custody. So for her, if she has three different whips, she spends two days on one, then she puts it down, and then she gets custody of the next and she knits two days on another and puts it down so she kind of knits on things but they never get stuck in the whip cemetery so i did a little bit of whip custody with the sock i said every single day you're going to knit an hour on the sock i don't care how long it takes you and i did a periscope this week and i said my goal is to have one sock done by the time we record now debbie has not seen the sock i've posted a couple pictures in black and white 
Um, we've been calling it Sister Torture. The so only thing I know is, is the that first... the only thing I know is that you have a cuff that's a different color from the main body. Yes. So Debbie's gonna see it for the first time right now. Are you ready? I'm ready. I think it's pink. <gasps> oh, aim! It looks awesome. You did a green band and then orange and pink. What yarn is that? Oh, Amy. I look at that kitchener. <laughs> I kitchenered with green. Okay, so let me take it off the blockers. Blocker. So I can show you. This is popsicle hedgehog fibers. Oh, that's how that knits up. Oh, awesome. And I, of course, went to my stash and I grabbed what colors I wanted to do the alternate. And these are chili knits. Oh, yes, there's your green ones. Perfect. So I did chili knits. I used her pop of green, but this is sport weight. So I don't know if that makes a difference. Well, okay. So let me tell you about the sock. So I'm being very careful. And I did see one, what I will call, um, wait a minute. I had a really good name for it. Oh, it was sort of like an unintentional creative Okay, it was an error. Okay, just let's just say it the way it is. It was a mistake. <laughs> Can you see that little one? It didn't actually come all to get all the way together because I didn't. Do you see it? Uh, yes, I can kind of see it there. It's this one right here. Uh huh. Okay. Anyway, well, there's probably more of those that I just haven't noticed. Okay, so. I was knitting. Oh, Debbie, it's so pretty. Put yours up there, too, so we can have a shot with and our socks. And everything that you've done. Okay, hold on. Let me put it back on the blocker. You're so freaking bossy today. I know. Jeez. Okay, so when I tried it, I was trying it on. It's too small. That's because you're not used to your gauge for a sock, being a sock no. knitter yet. What uh, what size needle did you use? I used what you had said. I did the mediums. I used size one. Two point two five. Right. But I was sick, and I was just. I guess I didn't want. I wanted to make sure it was tight enough. I don't know. But you guys, seriously, this um, what did you call it? A partridge heel? What did you call that, Betty? It's. A, I have partridge heel. I have partridge heel. Your pattern, I mean, I did follow it exactly, and I've never done an eye partridge here. I've never done one before. Well, I don't hardly do socks. So I followed it. It is perfect. So people who, okay, so DeSue was saying that she doesn't, she's tried to do vanilla socks. Something just wasn't right, but she's going to knit your socks. And I thought to myself, DeSue, seriously? You're going to see your face? You did a platysma right there. Like, oh. Okay, so. This is what I say to people. If you're brave, if you've knit other lace type patterns right. and you can figure out either cuff down, help up, magic loop, whichever, this is an okay sock. The pattern is that well written. It is that well written. Thank so, you. So since it doesn't fit me, and there's very few in my life who are hedgehog worthy, yes. I think what I'm going to do I'm going to frog it, and I'm I want to I want them to fit me. Okay. I'm gonna, Michael. I said I was going to finish this sock for your thing. See the cute little, see the cute little. I had the kitchen of the green at the top. I love that. So I'm going to frog it. I wanted to check the pattern out. I wanted to be. I wanted you to be proud of me for actually following through with it. I'm very I'm proud, of proud of you. I knew you would do it. You're sock. the type of person that when you put your yeah. mind to it, you finish it and you do it. So you're going to use a bigger size needle or are you going to? I think what I'll probably do just because, I think I'll probably use a two, US two. And that'll be enough. It wasn't so tight I couldn't get it over my foot. But And another thing that might help, Amy, before you do all that, why don't you, why don't you soak it and block it? Because sometimes the yarns will relax a little bit and then... Once it That's dries, true. you should you should block it on your sock blocker. Maybe it'll stretch out a little bit and it'll be fine. Pretty, pretty tight for my instep. Oh. So, 
I definitely love the pattern, Debbie. It's it's beautiful. Maybe I you want to try the large I'm size. Huh? Maybe you want to try the large size. Or you know what you can do is just um, increase the number of the length of your eye of partridge heel flap. Do more rows, and then when you pick up yes. stitches along the side, you'll have more stitches all together, oh. and it'll give you a bigger instep. Okay, I think I think I will let you the next time I knit. Uh, say oh. that again. Say that again. That got cut off. You think you'll what? I said I will let you guide me the next time oh. I them. Okay. I'm doing that. So that pattern so is going to be released in the next so couple days, I think. I'm waiting for, to get some pictures. I think you need to send me a couple pictures of that on the sock blocker so I can include that on my pattern page because that's all I need. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for a couple pictures from Marsha from the Twitch and Stitch podcast. She's test knitting. I got some from Sue. And I think um, Tracy said she would send me a couple pictures too. So I'm just waiting for okay. some pictures and then I can put the pattern page together and get it up. Okay, so since we're talking about socks, I have another kind of surprise. You do. Maybe not a surprise to you. I have been, Mom had given me nine inch circular needles yes and you know andy and there's somebody else who's doing the whole nine inch along yes or it, no it's called nine inch cow nine inch needle long so i got out and and i was i'm like i'm inspired by your sock i said well maybe i'll try those little nine inch ones i don't have the ball band what happened to my ball band so oh here it is i had some L array and it's just a numbered it's just a number colorway. You got that from me. Pretty? You got that from me. From you? Did I? Yeah. I bought Lace two. Marina. I bought two skeins of that when we were in Snoqualmie. Oh, okay. So I was wondering because I've had my sash for a while. So I knit a pair of socks on my nine inch circulars. Let me see. Two of them. Two of them. I knit the first one in, in less than 48 hours. So you knit three socks in the last um, two weeks? Yes. Wow. Aim, that's so this awesome. This is summer with a, with a fish lips kiss heel. And how does that fit you? This fits, actually, it's a little bit loose. Not loose enough for it to fall down. Mm -hmm. But the circuit, the nine inch circulars are size three. Mm. So, um, maybe a size two what, is your, is your sweet spot needle then maybe. Maybe two is my sweet spot, but I tell you these nine inserts, they fly, they fly you guys. And I know a lot of people say when you're holding it, you have to, and I made a conscious effort when I started to hold it very loosely. I didn't, I usually tension my yarn twice around my middle, my ring finger. I only tensioned it once just so. It wasn't pulling, and of course, I was seeing this other sock wasn't fitting, so I was kind of knitting very loosely. They flew. Now, when I got to do the fish lips kiss heel, I did put them on my three in like a magic loop for, for just the heel stitches. I did those up, and then I reconnected back on the nine inch circulars. And when I started to decrease for the toe, I put them back on my threes. And so the second sock I cast right on right away, and you know me, I can't ever do the same. So I said, you know what, I'm not going to do a Hermione's for the second sock. And everybody's like, what do you mean you're not going to do a Hermione's? You're going to have two socks that don't match. But look what I did. I don't know if you can even tell. Instead of the pearl stitches for the Hermione's, I slip stitched. Oh. Those. That's so cool. So let me show you. They're sort of like, they're a little mismatched. I don't know if anybody would really even be able to tell. And what did the slips, it, it looks like the slip stitch might be a little bit tighter gauge. Because you don't have all those be. pearls. Yeah, a tiny bit. So this is the stuffer minies and this is the slip stitch. Can you tell the difference a little oh, bit? Oh yes, you can totally see the difference. Absolutely. Yeah, Very so cool. I have mismatched, little mismatched socks. So when I was casting on, I, I texted Sue and I said, Sue, okay, I'm doing nine inch. 
what do I cast on? I'm not really sure how many. She said, I don't want them to fit an elephant, but I want them too small. She said 56. So this morning, I cast it on another. I'm addicted to these nine-inch circulars. Oh, my gosh. So I, this time, I'm going to cast it on 50. Cast two. on. You cast on. I'm sorry, Mother. I cast on 52 stitches. Now, I purposefully didn't do any more than I did so I can tell people the trick to these nine inches, nine inch circles. Okay, first of all, I'm using some leftover of my people have farmed, um, my lemonade shop, I'm sorry, um, sleepover, the sparkle. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the, the cuffs, heels, and toes. And then I'm using my um, yarn cafe. This. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, perfect. Oh, those are going to be like little garden socks. Yes, little garden socks. So this is, um, this is hand dyed yarn. It's from Yarn Cafe. Let me show you the card. Where did They're you get Utah. that from? I don't know. I got it on, I'm not sure where I got it. This has been in my stash for a while. I'm not sure if it was gifted to me or what. So these little boogies. Okay. So when you just for, this is just the two cents that I learned about nine inch surfs. When you cast on, when you cast on, you're not going to have enough stitch. The stitches are going to be too tight to get to join the round initially. Oh my so God. So you have Look to turn around. how small those things are. Turn go back and do your and this is just a one by one do your one by one all the way back and now when you it, it spreads them out so when you start you have enough you have enough fabric to join the round now the first half inch or so on cirques nine inch cirques is a little fiddly. You do have to hold it kind of tight because the fabric, there's not enough fabric to kind of hold them together. Right. So if, if you're unsure, you can always use your, um, you can always use your, you know, your magic loop. I've got three, size three. This is my, um, these are my uh, chow goo threes. And do start the cuff and then transfer it over onto your nine inserts. And then that'll be much easier. But you just have to make a conscious effort just to hold them loosely. Watch your, watch how tight the yarn gets. Um, another thing I've noticed with the nine-inch circs, if there's a lot, I don't think I would even try, attempt your socks on the nine-inch no. because there's pearls. There's, I mean, there's other things that make one right, make one left, and it, and you need that space with the needle and the cord to get under there. So yeah. if you're doing vanilla socks or like Hermione, something that has maybe just some purling or some ribs, perfect. If you're going to do anything with cables or lace, nine inch socks may not be your best. So what pattern yeah. are you, but, what pattern are you going to do for this sock? Oh no. You should do one of Mina's. Maybe I, I was just going to say, I think I may try one of Mina's. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be really so, pretty. Maybe I'll, Maybe I'll have another pair of socks by this podcast. So that's been fun. I can't believe I'm actually doing socks, Debbie. You, so you we kind of we kind of went through works in progress and finished objects already. My finished objects are my socks. I finished them late last night, kitchenered them, and just blocked them this morning. They're still kind of wet. So those are that's one of my finished objects. Yeah. And then the other finished object that I finished this week. And I did kind of a boo-boo because I was, wasn't was supposed to post the finished object pictures all the way. You can't follow instructions for nothing. You and hey, Tracy I wasn't both. the only one. I wasn't the only one. I'm not going to name any names. I wasn't the only one. But I, I took them down real quick. I took the pictures down off Instagram because um, I knew I, after I got an email. Oh, did you say, how dare you? No, she sent an email to the group and said, remember... I said, don't post final project because the reason why is because she's getting tons of messages asking her, when's it going to be released? When's it going to be released? When's it going to be released? Uh -oh. So her poor well, Instagram is probably have blowing up. People could have asked her those questions anyway, even if they just saw. So I'm just going to give a sneak peek of the yarn I used because this isn't going to give anything away. But this is. Can't you show the finished? No, I can't show the finished yet until she tells me I can show the finished object. 
Tracy, I said I wasn't going to name names, and you just blew it. Well, I just called her out because Jody does all the time, and we're all sisters, so you need to show it. No, I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to. Okay, look, this is one side, and this is another, and that's all I'm going to show. Oh, Daddy. That's it. I will show it when I'm allowed to show it. I'll show the whole thing on the podcast, and then that will be a good advertisement to get people to go and buy the pattern. You're going to be late to the party because by the time we do this again in two weeks, everybody will already have knit theirs up. No, they won't. The pattern will maybe will come out in the next two weeks, and it'll be perfect timing. Okay, all right, fine, fine. Okay, I so... Have two, two more finished objects. Oh, my gosh. You were knitting queen this week. Two weeks. I told you I had a lot of time, and guess what I did? I knit Soprano Knits, um, Becky, her... Let me, find, let me find a picture. I thought her, you showed that last time. Huh? I thought you showed that last time. I showed what yarns I was going to use, and then I changed my mind. Oh, okay. This is the red herring... Hat. I love that. Becky, you did such a good job on that pattern. I know she did. She did a really great job. And I was going to use my sweet, sweet friends from Queensboro Farm. I was going to use the wool they sent, but it was, when I started looking at it more, it was more of a, more of like a, maybe more of an errand. It was a little heavier. And this one calls for, um, DK, I believe, or worsted. Worsted. No, DK. Look, it's done. Oh, so cool, Lane. I knit this literally in a day and a half. A day and a half. That's awesome. What's, so what cute. what yarn did you use? Up. This is just Cascade from my local yarn store. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get one of those um cream faux fur pom big pom poms. Won't that be the cutest? Put it on. Oh, I know you would say that. I don't know how good I look with hats, but. You look like an elf. <laughs> so cute. You stop saying that. You look cute, Anne. Like that. That's going to huh? be perfect for Rhinebeck if it's cold. I know. That's what It's going to be a perfect Rhinebeck hat. And the other, do you have any other finished objects? I no, but I think maybe that needs to be the unofficial official hat for Rhinebeck. I think it does too. I even posted that, the official unofficial hat for Rhinebeck. So I think because we can do what we want, I think that's what we'll call it. <laughs> so I'm wearing my other finished object, my frizzin. I knit this out of um, Art by Anna, one of her party cakes. It took me one week. I tell you, this was this is a perfect knit for when you're sick because it's so easy to memorize. Let me take it off and show you. The drape is so beautiful. So it starts with this little tiny, tiny at the beginning. Uh huh. And it's just it's just beautiful. Mom knit a couple. I showed a picture on our last podcast of the one she knit. Uh huh. One of the ones. She knit. Is it so a pay for pattern? A, you know, a gift for somebody, please. Sorry. Is it a pay for pattern? It's a pay for pattern. I think it's five dollars. But it's just so light and just and of course anything with a gradient. Really it's pretty. Just perfect. It's just perfect. Put back on. Even though it's almost a hundred degrees outside and here in Georgia. It's nice and cool in here because I got the air conditioner running. Okay, so anyway, so those are my Finished objects. Pretty. Thank you. Which I want to do. Okay, so you have some whips to show? Well, I finished all my stuff last night, and the only whip I have now is my K Sarah sweater, which I didn't work on at all. But I think I'm going to pull this out now and work on this one. Cause I pull it out. What do you mean pull it out? Pull it out from being in the in the cemetery for a little oh, while and work on it like, i need to get some progress on this because rhinebeck is coming in a couple months and yeah. this knits up pretty fast though right yes i've already knit 12 13 inches on it yeah so i'm gonna work on that and this is living in my mrs brown's bags my 
my Andy bag. Yeah, beautiful. So I'm going to work on that. And of course, because I don't have any socks on the needles right now, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, cast on some socks, I think. You want to see what yarn I'm going to use? Oh, you've already picked out yarn for your next socks? Yes, let me see. It's something that came in the mail this week. Do you want to see it? Um, yes, I want to see it. Of course I want to see it. Oh, you got, I've got one coming. Another sock blank from, tell us who, from? This is from Andre Sue Knits. This was a gift. Oh, I love it. She is the sweetest of sweetest friends. Andy, thank you I so know. much. Look at this, you guys. Look at that. That is her stencils, I don't know how she uses, well, what she uses, they're just so awesome. Isn't that cool? I can't wait to see those. I know. Without Debbie. So you know what I'm going to do? See that pattern? Huh? I'm going to cut this in half. I said, did you, did you see the person? You are? I'm going to knit them two at a time. So I'm going to, it's folded oh, okay. over. I'm going to snip. I'm going to snip the one and I'm going to do both at the same time so, okay. so that they match. Because you can. You're because I can. She also threw in a couple little minis. Isn't she sweet? She is so sweet. And there was a little progress keeper. I think there was a progress. I mean, maybe not on this one. So if you have not seen her shop lately, I don't know if there's anything left in there, but she put in a ton of... Perfect. Did you see those cloud ones with the yes. birds? Yes. I went like three hours after I realized there was a shop update because I was watching her podcast. And I said, oh, wait a minute. The shop update was this morning. Certainly I'll go over and see. Nothing. Nada. It was like crickets going chirp, 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 chirp. Well, I got I lucky because this was one of the first ones she did after she started using that special thickener in the, in the dye for mm -hmm. the stencils. And I just posted something on yeah. Instagram. I said, Andy, that, those are gorgeous. And she said, well, I'll send you one. Which one do you like? She was so sweet. So I'm going to send her a little, a little gift package too. I need to work on that today. I think I may have something coming in the mail to show for next time. Okay. So I've got two more works in progress. Okay. And I'm not going to show my case to Brock because I have a book on it. But it was really funny that I was printing off the pattern of this next thing, which is a free pattern on Ravelry. At the same time, while I was waiting for my dinosaur printer to get going, I was looking at Instagram and Desue, you know, our BFF from Israel, Desue had posted, she loves to post like free patterns because people, I mean, people you can download them for it. She posted the same exact pattern while I was printing mine off. And I said, oh my gosh, to Sue, it's the Van Gogh shawl. Very pretty. So it's a free pattern on Ravelry. So I said, let's do it. So as soon as I got the printer, the printer, it printed off. I ran back to my stash. My husband thought I was crazy. He's like, what are you doing? I said, I'm taking pictures. Me and this for stash diving. So I was taking pictures of my stash. She was taking pictures of her stash. We were picking at our yarns. And she's like, oh my God, I've got to do my little foodie. I've got other things i got to go on. I said, okay, okay, but maybe you can do this. So we kind of started this impromptu Van Gogh knit along. So it's the hashtag is Van and then go G-O-G-H-K-A-L. So there's a couple people that have jumped on the bandwagon. I mean, it's just total impromptu if you want to do it with us. So I had the cream from um, Sprinter Knits. I had some cascade. Oh, so let me tell you about this. So then we're picking out these beautiful yarns. I'm knitting it up, and 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 she she. You keep message. banging She's the like, table, Amy. The the picture's going like this because you, right. you keep banging, banging, banging. Okay, earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. This who says Amy? I'm like what? She says it's DK, or no, it's worsted. It's DK. It's not fingering. Fingering. I had, to rip out. I had to go back to my stash. I had to figure out again, but I'm using the cream from the brim of, um, of Becky's hat. 
And I got out one of the one of the first Kool-Aid dyed yarns that I did. Cool. Oh neat. This was with using great and what they, what they call charcoalberry thin, which is this bright turquoise. Nice. So this is what it looks like, and it's in my maple moose fiber bag, which I love, love, love. Love that. Okay. And literally, I mean, this is just a couple days worth of work. It's really, it, this is one of those things that will just fly off the needles. Oh, Amy, so cool. And it's funny, look at how the repeat of your colors are making like almost like a little checkerboard. Yes, it's really interesting. And there's drop stitches, and if you can drop stitches and you can knit and purl, and really hardly any purl, that's all you need. I don't even think there is purling. I may not even be purling. You knit two together. So that's going to be, I think, I think what I'm going to do with this, it is a little heavier. I think this may be put in my um, Christmas basket for uh -huh. my sister-in-law, for Ronnie's sister for Christmas. I think she'd like that. Very pretty. So that's one of my works in progress, my one work in progress. You want to see the other one? Sure. It doesn't matter if you do because I'm going to show you anyway. Okay. So I don't know why I can't keep myself still and just knit on things and be happy with that, but I started designing another pattern. <laughs> this is Friday afternoon when I got home from work. So just for the last day or so, I've been knitting something else. I'm using my kaleidoscope, um, which I was gifted uh, from the UME Swap. And I don't know where the ball band is. Pretty. That's from kaleidoscope. I'm not even sure the colorway. And, I'm, and some leftover from Moods of Color, what I use in my Random Act of Color um, shawl, this purple. Because we had so much left over. Pretty. So here is my new design. It looks a little... It, it. I can tell you were inspired by that Van Gogh. Yes, I was. And there's little points and some yarn overs. And it's just it's just a... Literally, this is a two, two to four row repeat. And it's going to be these kind of long and skinny. Uh -huh. So this is literally just a day, a day wow. and a half knitting of this. Not even straight. Pretty. So I was thinking about some names, and I thought of a really good name this morning. You know, Tracy always says, and we've heard it many times in our life, because when you have Wendy in the house, <laughs> it gets said a lot. My mother probably said it much more than my father Oy vey. You know, Mom would say, oy vey. Yeah. You have three little girls in three years. You say oy vey a lot. A lot. So, I don't know. I'm still thinking about maybe names for that. So, if anybody has any ideas, let me know. So, <laughs> so I'm going to get on that and block it and see what happens and maybe write up the pattern and we'll see. It sounds good. So what else we got to talk about? Well, I have a couple th a couple more things that came in the mail. Oh, yes. So if you want to see those, um, I posted this on Instagram. Closet. Skeins in the closet. I posted this on Instagram, and I bought two. Yes. Some of my favorite colors from Yarn Ink. What was the name of that yarn, Debbie? This Show yarn, the, the colorway, I can't believe it's not on here. What? She didn't write it on here. Of course she didn't remember. I don't remember what it was called. I'll have to go back. Oh, and this game horizontal. You mean like a beard? I just took the band off. No, hold it horizontal so they can see, because we only saw kind of like the purple. Yeah, so I want to see the whole thing. So it's completely cream on one side? Yes. It's oh, entirely wow. cream on this side. And it's so pretty. mostly purple on that side. And then it has these brown, gorgeous yeah. speckles. Uh -huh. 
through the wow. middle. So I bought That's one of these for me and one for you. <gasps> you bought one for me? Yes. I figured I was going to make a pair wait. of socks. And I there were two of them in there. And so I bought one for you. So your this will be yours. Maybe we can do matchy matchy twin socks. Yeah. So. Oh, thank you. I I'll send that in the that. mail. I'll send that in the mail for you. Okay. Love it. I I was inspired. I, I think both from Instagram and I think um, Jody and Tracy had some yarn ink on there. So, Gigi made me do it. Gigi made you do it. Yeah. And then this I is have in the mail. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, I remember I was telling you I'm not really on a yarn diet, but I'm needing to buy some more tonal right. or solid yarns to go with that old other variegated. And this is from, it's called Tiffany Box. This is a figuring, you know, for socks. Teeny Button Studio. Have you guys heard of her? Did you know? Oh, you know, you showed this on your Periscope. That's why I'm recognizing everything. Yes, I did. Yes. Yep, this is on my Periscope. And they, her name is Robin, and she sent a little, cute little progress, a little stitch marker, red ruby. Cute. But it's a beautiful, it is so beautiful and soft. The, the colors, it is definitely, it's not, I would say solid, it's sort of a tonal, but isn't that just gorgeous? Really pretty. That's, That's my color. be added to my nice stash so it can go with some of my variegated. I don't know what it'll be. Um, probably a shawl or wrap or something. I'm going to have to break this out. Does that have time. nylon in it? Could you use it for heels and toes? Yes, it does. It's super washed, 20% nylon. 400 yards. Perfect. I love it. It's really pretty. Thank you. And the last thing I got in the mail was a total impulse buy. I was just looking at Instagram, and I've never bought any of her yarn before. And I saw that she had one lonely skein oh. left of this colorway. And I well, have. You remember buying it. I did remember buying it. <laughs> but it's funny because I, I I have really been drawn to these speckly pinks, pinks and golds and browns and speckles and. I just bought some more from Regina over at Herb's Flat Regina. I just bought more that has pink in it. I don't know what it is about pinks these days. This actually, this is yes, Debbie. People who fields like that. Yes, it's. I'm gonna take the ball band off because you guys got to see the colors in this. It is just. What's the name of it? Darren. D-A-R-R-I-N. But look at that, you yeah, guys. Yeah, she names, she, she names her yarns like they're people. Oh, so pretty, Debbie. That would make a beautiful pair of socks in your in your uh, pattern, too. I don't think I'm going to be knitting my pattern for a little while. Wow. I've got this Gorgeous. pair. I've got this pair that I did, the original prototype, and then I have that pair. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of lacy, lacy socked out for right now. But look at that, you guys. Maybe we can, maybe we can pick one of Mina's patterns and we can do it together. Yes, I think we should. I think we totally should. Okay, I wanted, I, and, I, and I got this, I've got one more thing to show for Skeins in the Closet because Melissa, Spicy Homemaker, you know, we did the knitting games and it was so sweet of her. Ooh, we've got thunder. We're going to have a thunderstorm. And she messaged me, did you get the Cat's Kettle skein? I'm like, yes. And, of course, it was like the day after we recorded last time. So I wanted to show. Did I show? I don't think I showed this. I showed it on my Periscope. This is the skein that she gave us to give away. Isn't That's, that? That looks very Her similar skin. to what I just bought from, from Herb Splat Regina. Except it's got more pink. That, man, I don't know how you're going to send that in the mail. I would have a hard time. It's a good thing she sent it to you and not to me because I'd probably keep it. She called me out because if she hadn't called me out, it may just get lost in my stash. I'm only kidding. I wouldn't think that. Isn't that beautiful? So let's Maybe. be thinking, Debbie, about the next giveaway we have. I don't know if we're coming up on a milestone, but let's save this for 
that special a special giveaway we'll have in the future. You know what I think we should do? I think we should pick just a random person from our group. We have almost a thousand people in our Ravelry group. I haven't checked lately. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Look it up right now. My phone is turned off. I can turn it on, but it'll take a few minutes. But we'll look we'll look that up. I think we should do a thousand thousand member giveaway. I know Jody and Tracy draw just randomly from the members in their group. And you can get okay, a list. You can get a list of all the members in your group and we can do random.org and just pick a number. Okay, let's do that. Right now? Yes, right now. <laughs> and I'll and I'll also I'll also um we still we still have some little um stitch markers from Nitty by Nature. I'm gonna put a couple little stitch markers in there too with this beautiful stain of dark pastel. My gosh, you're putting me on the spot now. Okay, let me see here. Groups. I'll do that, you know. I'm good at that. We'll put one other thing to show too. Okay, why don't you show that while I pull up the group and see if okay, we have a thousand. So Moon from Moon Holler. We have one thousand and two. Oh, a thousand and two. Okay, so I because I love so much knitting up my uh, my variegated um, my, my variegated my graded yarn from Art by Anna. I saw that Moon had put up something in her Etsy shop, and I could not resist, so I bought it. It's called Tequila Mockingbird. 650 yards. Oh, Amy. Oh, I remember you showing that on your Periscope, too. That it isn't that gorgeous. What are you going to do with that? All that yardage. You better find a really big shawl for that. That needs to be a gradient shawl, yeah. I think. I think I'm going to. And I even saw, um, I was gifted the pattern, um, it's called Nessa by one of a sweet, sweet friend um, on on Ravelry. It's it's a wrap and it takes great yarn. I may do I may do that pattern. It's called Nessa. It's on Ravelry. N e s s a. I have a winner. You have a winner. Winner chicken dinner. Who's the winner? Okay, I just did random number generator from one to one thousand and two, and the result was number seven hundred and thirty five. So now I need to go back to my list here and get to 735. Who is? Are they numbered? Are all those people numbered? Yeah. You can you can Enjoy. export it to a spreadsheet and then they're all numbered. So the number is 735, and that is the knitting Annie. Her birthday <gasps> is May 11th. She just had a birthday, I think. Uh -huh. And she joined in April. She joined on tax day, April 15th. It, well, that's not bad for almost just being a group member for a month. She's already getting prizes. I know. So, oh, I put in, that's all right. It doesn't matter because we didn't get our names picked. We're the first two members. But what did I say? 735? Can you write that down? No, I see. My secretary didn't bring a pen. Do you have a pen? Have your secretary write it oh, down. Oh, so I do. Forget. I do. Gosh, do I have to do everything? Yes, I have to do you everything. <sighs> I gotta get my notes here. Seven thirty-five. Okay, there you go. There's the, the winner. The knitting Annie. The knitting Annie. All right, so I'll send her. I'll send her a message on Rav. I'll send her a message on Ravel when we get done. Okay. I don't think I have anything else. The only other thing I have is our major Humble Happenings news. And I if know. you stuck with us all the way until the end, then you deserve to be the first to know. Because I think most people hang out for the first 15 minutes and say, that's enough of these two crazy girls. We've had enough. I'm sure they do. Nobody ever watched them. No. So our big news for the very end of our podcast, and maybe it's not that big of a deal to some of you, but Amy and I have decided to release our random act of color shawl a wrap a little bit early. We're going to post it today, which is Sunday, June twelfth. So by the time you see Yay! this, by the time you see this, if I get it up tonight, you'll be able to go over to our my my page, Debbie Reese page on Ravelry. If you search random act of color wrap, not shrap, random act of color wrap. 
it will come up and you'll be able to purchase it. And I think we should just kick off the cow right now because that, that'll that get people six weeks. We can finish it up at the end of July, right? Well, let's do it. I can kick up my hand so it gets started like I need another bit, but let's do it. Okay. So that's the big news. So officially June the 12th, Random Act of Color is going to be available to purchase the pattern, and we're going to start the knit along like as soon as we stop recording because I'm going to cake up my stuff. Okay, you do that. And that'll run through the end of July. Yes. That'll give people enough time, don't you think? Pretty quick. Yeah, and I think I think six weeks is plenty of time for a sh for a wrap. It it keeps people motivated to work on it, not let it become a whip, a cemetery whip. Yeah. I think that's one thing that I probably would have done differently yeah. with my Wendy Sky knit along. It was just too long. So, but anyway, yeah. So very cool. Well, just hang on a minute. I've got to show one thing, but I need a second. Okay, so just talk. Okay, I'm going to talk. So, um, I don't know what else to say. It's going to be an exciting summer. I think there are a ton of knit alongs out there. There's a lot going on. I'm probably going to do it along for my sock pattern too. So when I release that, that'll be in the next few days. I don't know if that'll go out this weekend or maybe next weekend. I said the 15th, so I'll definitely have it up by the 15th. But um, we'll do a knit along for that and the knit along for our wrap. And there's a lot of wraps out there. Okay, you're back. What did you put on your face? <laughs> I wanted to tell you that she sent me this incredible, and I didn't have time to put it all on my face. She sent me this incredible face mask. You're crazy. So now I'm ready to put football because I've got it on. I told her I promised her just for her that I would put it on today. But I didn't know that I could have stood doing it all over my face for the whole time. So this is for Desu. And it feels real tingly, real cool. Maybe I'll get rid of my bag so when I turn 50, I don't have to have... Just don't get it too close to your eyes. It's probably got eucalyptus or something in it. Oh, it's nice and cool. I may have done put it all over my face. I think I might. Okay. You can't do squishy yarn face with that stuff all over your face. No, I won't do that. No, 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 I won't do that. Okay. All right. Well, that's all we have, guys. <laughs> I hope you guys. I hope you guys go out and join us for the knit along for the Random Act of Color Wrap and... Um, keep your eye out for my Don't Touch Those Leaves uh, sock pattern coming this week. And until next time, we will see you. Happy knitting. And if you can't, be can't kind. Be, kind. be quiet. Okay? Bye. You must be quiet. High five. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye, Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for return viewers, and thanks for new viewers. We really, really appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Talk to you soon. Bye.